welcome to uh, my gameplay of uh, Modern Air Power John Taylor Software Modern Air Power War Over the Middle East I'll be doing this uh, Spread Your Wings scenario which is a sort of uh, tutorial scenario and uh, so uh, most of you can get an idea of uh, what this game is all about there isn't much videos on YouTube uh, regarding this game uh, this uh, John Taylor title so I thought I'd uh, uh, do one so uh, you folks YouTubers and war gamers would have an idea of what it's all about. Uh, I'm not a pro playing at this game, so uh, bear with me. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how the game works a bit and what you can find in this game, what it's all about. Without further ado, we're gonna start this up. We're gonna be playing the Israel side and uh, the Arab side will be our enemy we're gonna set this up to automatic fog of war the rules just leave them how they are and I'm gonna hit OK this is our map view as you can see game looks real nice uh, you can zoom in zoom out with your mouse wheel okay scroll up and down uh, just moving your mouse up or down now we're fully zoomed out and this would be fully zoomed in uh, we have uh, a couple things we should look over here the menu is down here opposed to up here with the usual John Tiller titles uh, although the instructions some some of the instructions do make reference to the menu up here I think uh, they changed this in an update somewhere and now you have the menus and buttons down here okay uh, there might be appearing some uh, buttons up here when you're using the editor or uh, other tools that you get with this uh, game okay uh, one thing to bear in mind is that this game has a time limit uh, each game well uh, for example in this uh, in this scenario we have an hour to complete the scenario if we don't do so then we get a time limit uh, a screen and uh, the scenario is over so what we have here we have two air bases these are air, air bases over here Hals Zerum Airbase and Tel Nuf uh, Airbase here. Okay. Uh, these are our own airbases. Uh, this is our uh, command uh, sector uh, uh, center, to say uh, in a way. And this is our radar, uh, ground radar. Okay click on the on the airway uh, runway you can see uh, that we have a hundred percent of the runway uh, everything is at hundred percent because there is nothing damaged here okay if we go to the view menu I think it was uh, or no. view menu I think it is Uh, if we double click you can see the flights we have in this airbase uh, we have a, a two ship flight uh, f-15s ram uh, that's the way they're called uh, here uh, and we have a picture of the actual flight uh, training a means that uh, 
this goes from A to F. Your training goes from A to F, uh, just like the most uh, John Tiller titles. Uh, a means uh, you're an expert, and F means you are a beginner, in particular. Okay. We would, if we had orders for this, if we ticked on here, we would have an order uh, to select, which we don't. Uh, we also have the package, uh, which we can select. Uh, okay. And uh, if we had passengers. We can select the amount of passengers going on this uh, flight, and we also have image. Okay, this is the image of the airbase itself. Okay, so so much for that. Um, up here uh, are another two airbases. Uh, we are supposed to on this mission. We are supposed to. Eliminate a uh, radar site that's somewhere around here. Since we have fog of war, we haven't located that uh, SAM site uh, that's uh, somewhere around here. Okay. And our mission is to destroy that SAM site. As you can see here on the bottom uh, left corner, it's our, we have our squadron name. Uh, two flights, the uh, airport name, our loadout, as you can see here. Okay, this here is a uh, cruise alt altitude. This here would be nap on Earth altitude. These would be our speeds. Okay, and then these are our state. Uh, okay. Uh, Bingo, Winchester, refueling. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we double click again. We click OK with this highlighter. We click OK. And now we click here with uh, the right click. And we have the flight uh, towards that. Towards the west here on the ocean. Okay. Uh, first of all, we have to set the runtime to one. Okay. So we'll do that now. As you can see, our flight is uh, starting to take off. We can see our flight has already taken off. Uh, and now we're going to do the same with the other airfield where we have another uh, set of uh, two F-15Cs uh, from the 106 squadron ready for takeoff, which we'll hit OK and do the same thing. We'll right click on the ocean and these guys will be taken off. The reason I took off first from this uh, airfield is because since they're farther away, uh, this uh, two-ship uh, flight is going to reach, uh, it's always going to be behind the, this first flight here, all right, and uh, in this game you have to time everything quite well. As you can see, uh, the uh, F-15Cs are equipped with uh, 12 uh, AM-120s uh, missiles, and uh, they got a Python, they have a ALQ-131, ECM, and then they have a couple of fuel tanks. This will be our... Uh, Escort, sort of, to say, okay, these are going to be who are going to protect us from other ships. And on the other flight, which is the F-15 I's, I, uh, we have uh, the uh, actual bombs for the SAM site, which are BSU's 80s, I think. I can't see that too clear. We also have some. AM 120s just in case to defend ourselves, but we are 
basically uh, gonna ground target. That's our ordinance. So what we're gonna do now, if we uh, zoom out a bit here, this this is our uh, uh, range uh, over here. Okay, Let's see yellow. Uh, I think here is our range. The blue circle is our visual range. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is uh, move up north. This flight first, for example, and in order to do so, uh, we hit the shift key and right click, fly to. See that we got this one, this another uh, waypoint added. Okay, we'll do the same with the uh, other flight. which is this one here, okay, the red uh, arc, that's the uh, the range of our uh, AM120s. We'll do the same with this one. We uh, sh shift and right click up here and we hit fly to and now we have both ships ready to uh, fly in that direction, all right? Both, both uh, flights are going at cruise altitude. As you can see, uh, this flight is gonna take longer to reach this uh, waypoint than the, the first flight. That's why I had him take off first. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slow this uh, second uh, flight to 360 knots. So this uh, second flight catch up okay we're gonna have these guys speed up a bit as you can see now range has a uh, has changed okay so he'll be going a lot faster than this one All right now from here uh what we want to do is uh, move into this area here. Okay, so might as well just add another waypoint because we know the uh, SAM site is somewhere around here. Okay, so we'll just uh, right uh, um, hit the shift key and then right click here and fly to, okay? We'll do the same with the other flight. Just right click and fly to. Okay, so now we have basically our uh, legs uh, set up. Okay. Now we're both in cruise altitude. And what we're going to be doing uh, along the flight is uh, popping up from uh, Nab on Earth, which we are, it's, it's a lot more difficult uh, to detect us because we are uh, flying low and popping up to cruise uh, altitude uh, because from cru cruise altitude, uh, it's a lot easier to spot uh, enemy targets, okay? So for now, uh, we're going to have this uh, flight go to nap on Earth altitude, and you'll see how the range will change. So this is, you see, now the arc is a lot smaller because he is uh, flying lower to the ground. Okay, but we'll be uh, more secure that way. We'll do the same with this fellow here, and as you can see, the arc has been reduced. This bigger uh, circle here, this is from our uh, command center, okay? And uh, SAM site, as you can see, further away, 
Okay. So now that we are uh, on our way here, we're going to accelerate this a bit to uh, times three. So we don't spend a lot of time here. Maybe even up to times five. Let's see if we can get this going. Okay. And uh, as you can see, this flight is going a lot faster and is picking up speed, catching up with the F-15. up there basically we're gonna slow him down again bring him back to 480 knots and we'll move this guy up back to 480 knots as well now they're not that far away now we're gonna slow this down and we're gonna pop up we're gonna pop up to see if we can catch something on radar, both of them, oh, sorry, there we go, move this guy up again, and see if we catch something on radar, uh, sorry, having some coffee there, we're going to speed this up a bit, see what happens, by six as you can see our clock is ticking backwards okay we have 44 mission time 44 minutes of mission time left there we go we spotted we spotted a uh, radar I'm sorry a command center over here but we're gonna skip the command center we don't want to go for this command center because it's probably gonna be very heavily defended so we'll just keep on uh, Go on our course and in search of that uh, SAM site. So uh, we'll just uh, keep this up at six times six speed. And there's our SAM site. Okay, now, now that we have our SAM site, uh, what we want to do, or at least that's what I want to do, is this flight, which is going to be protecting us, uh, we're going to cancel his waypoints. And we're going to... Oh, sorry about that. to cancel his uh, orders and we want him to fly directly to here okay just in case uh, there's a Soviet flankers 227s from our report that will be that can uh, scramble uh, and head for our, our two flights here and this guy, we're going to cancel his uh, orders, and we're going to tell him to attack uh, this here, okay? So now he has an order to attack the uh, SAM site. Uh, both flights are uh, in uh, cruise altitude, so what we want to do now is uh, we're going to lower these guys this way, and we're going to speed them up a bit, and we're going to do the same with this guy, and we're going to speed him up a bit too. As you can see, uh, from with uh, a nap on Earth uh, altitude, 
the SAM site has disappeared, but it's in our flight plan. It's in our, uh, it's uh, included in our flight plan, okay, because he, he already knows now where this uh, SAM site is, so there's no, I mean, you don't see it because we are, in theory, uh, flying low to the ground, okay? So, uh, let's speed it up a bit. Let's see what uh, happens here. So you can see that the F-15 is going to reach uh, this, his waypoint at, in, in, this is the timer, okay, that's telling us approximately when he's going to reach there. And this is the timer that uh, that's telling us uh, when this flight is going to reach his uh, waypoint. Okay, so uh, this flight is going to reach this area before uh, roughly a little before this flight reaches its uh, target, which is good because if we have any enemies that are going to be uh, taken out from this uh, airfield, we're going to, okay, now we're inside the uh, radar sectors. As you can see, they're going to be trying to uh, nail us here. Sorry, can't lower that. Okay, they've launched the... Uh, let me, lo let me s slow speed here. Okay. They've launched the uh, missile at us. Okay. And, uh... I'm not really sure if we got hit here. Okay. But anyway, we're going to be uh, patrolling here. Till this guy uh, bombs the uh, SAM site, just in case any enemy flankers or s enemy ships uh, take off from here and decide to go for our uh, package here. As you can see, he's patrolling on his own because he reached his uh, waypoint and now he'll just patrol around here. Okay, he just bombed uh, the radar or the SAM site, sorry. So he's heading back and uh, what we want to do with this guy is have him return as well. So, uh, uh, where was this? Now both flights are returning to their uh, airfields. Okay. So that uh, SAM site has been eliminated, and now you can see here that uh, we are, you know. This bar is starting to fill up with uh, in blue, which means we are winning this scenario. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna have this guy go to cruise altitude, and this guy as well, and we're gonna go full notch here. Not full notch, but okay. Uh, this green bottom line here is our fuel. 
Okay, and the red uh, line up here, I think, is our ordinance. Okay, now what we want to do with this flight is, uh, as you can see, our radar is up front here, and we want to see if uh, we have somebody coming behind us. So, uh, one stick, I'm just going to turn around. See if anybody's coming. No, no flight coming this way, which is good. We don't have nobody following us. And that's what we're trying to do here. So nobody is following us. Okay, nobody's following us. Shift. Accelerate this bit. And uh, stop. We're going to do the same again, just in case. following us, which is good. So, let me ask him to return. Speed here. Take that by ten. See what happens. Go one eighty again. Have this guy come around just in case. As I said, you never know. do follow you anyhow. So, just hit the times 10 key here. Both of these guys. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that if I hit this uh, Okay, we're looking at this F-15C here. No, oh, this is not a good example. If we look at uh, this one here, which has, uh, it doesn't have any more bombs left, So, but, uh, but if we did, you can see that uh, range has disappeared. Okay, so depending on the ordinance you have, this will change. This odd tier will change, okay. show you that. Okay, we got 12 minutes of mission time left.
seven minutes left of mission time and uh, this guy's about to land and so is this guy Landed almost. Go. It's one landing. We got six minutes left for this guy to land. said it's time based mission one minute left and time link at least in just an hour so we have an Israel minor victory no, didn't do that good uh, airplane losses, they lost two. Ground losses, they got the, we got the radar. I think it's just radar, yeah, radar sight. It wasn't a SAM sight, it was a radar sight. So, that's it. Basically, that's the way this goes. Okay. Uh, I didn't put the music on. Well, I mean the sound on. Let's see where we're gonna put it right now. Because uh, uh, I could talk. I'm, I'm gonna put it on so you can hear it. But uh, you just can't talk. You and there's no way of lowering it. So. Anyhow, it's just way too loud. It's it's nice. There's a, you know, uh, chatter, uh, radio chatter, and then you got some turbine sounds. But uh, y you can't record. You can't. You, you know, you can't record. So, so much for that. Uh, to get out of here, uh, you have to hit the X key. Okay. And that's the way uh, you close it. Anyhow, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching. Good care and keep on working.